Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 26th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun as we did have a pretty large plasma shot take off from areas that are cresting into view, which is on the left hand side it was a proud plasma filament stretched across the surface just underneath a pretty large incoming coronal hole. And there it is lifting away from the sun and it did produce a coronal mass ejection. Having a look here at 193 angstroms. You can see a dominant and prominent big black hole on the sun. And that is a coronal hole, which is a cooled region on the surface. And when that is earth facing, we do see a pretty substantial increase in our solar winds, especially if it's equatorial region. This one is a little bit north, but still getting ready for the earth facing view. The last one that came through put our solar winds upwards of 650 kilometers per second. Average is about 300. 131 angstroms here. Amazing images of our sun today brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying all this information and visuals shared, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Maybe get in the comments section, timestamp your favorite part, or tag a friend. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. That was a look at a blank disc. We only have three Earth-facing sunspots right now. And five turning away. Two of them are looking still pretty tasty for some X flares. But if anything, it will be backside activity over the next few days. Current space weather conditions, there are none to speak of. Solar winds are coming in at 307 kilometers per second, which is right around average. Solar X-ray flux in the sea range today, nothing major. All a moderate C-class range. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity is low as well. ISPWA space prediction spiral showing here. Most recent coronal mass ejection from that plasma filament that I showed this morning and as well just now. And that is shooting right out at Venus, set to give us a glancing blow. 28th into the 29th. So within 72 hours, this will be impacting us at the same time as the coronal hole wind stream. Having a look here, Lasco 3 wide spectrum showing the cosmic energies leaving our sun. And you can see on the 26th there, that was the most recent coronal mass ejection. There's the one from the 24th. Yesterday was semi quiet. And then here is that plasma shot. And as well, some activity on the backside shooting up through the North Polar region. Here's a look at the Aurora forecast for tonight and tomorrow. Diminished since the last couple days. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. 5.7 here, largest the last 24 hours. Unalaska, Alaska, as well as 5.3. Russia, notable earthquake here. Canada, 4.2 earthquake in Banff. Very rare earthquake reported Banff today. As well, notable here, 4.1 earthquake. Petrolia, California, right up into that Juan de Fuca joint. And then across the United States, still just above 200 earthquakes, no major swarms to note, but notable activity there, Caribbean, and as well, Colombia with a 4.5 earthquake today. And that looks to be right above Roventador Volcano, which is a pretty active and erupting volcano. Notable earthquakes here, South America and the South Sandwich Islands, 4.4, Iran. Other than that, it's been a pretty quiet day. 24 hours, but these peculiar earthquakes, 4.8 ranging or 4.7 ranging to 5.0 all around the Philippines plate. Something is building. We still haven't seen the reaction from the deep earthquakes that we've seen throughout the week. So please heads up and stay aware and prepared. Now let's have a glance at the last seven days for shakers and movers across the planet. And again, I want to thank you all for watching and do you think we can get to 100,000 followers this year? I think we can. With all the likes and the love and support in the community here, which is the best on YouTube, I 
think we can do it. But we gotta get a thousand likes in a video every night for that to happen. Much love, everybody. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Now let's carry on here. Look at the air quality forecast brought to you by your active and erupting volcanoes. This is the sulfur dioxide emissions forecast. Big plume coming out of the Kilauea volcano, which I showed yesterday. Another eruption there, spewing fresh lava onto the cooled caldera. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Africa, and Australia. Notable plumes coming out of northern Russia. And as well through Indonesia. Overlooking South America and South Africa. You've got some nasty air quality moving right across the Atlantic. That's wildfire smoke and as well, kill away of volcanic ash. Now let's have a look at world weather. We're just going to be looking at satellite imagery, the full weather forecast in last night's video. Observing here a very large low off the San Francisco coast. Set to bring some rain and wind to the drought-stricken regions of California, but heads up, watch for flash floods. North Pacific Ocean, some pretty large lows there. No cyclones or typhoons to show. Nasty air quality over India is moving eastward. Pretty strong low affected both Ireland and the United Kingdom over the last couple days. You had another one affecting you last night. Got some dust storms moving off of Senegal. Other than that, we're looking at a pretty cloudy atmosphere right now. Large low pressure systems. Very windy extreme weather events. We also have a pretty large glacier here floating through the Scotia Sea. Showing time lapse here going way back to November, middle of November, is where it got dislodged after hitting the seafloor. And then it just started moving eastward. But this thing is massive. Let's just measure the distance on this thing. From one corner to the other is 79 kilometers long. Looking to be about three kilometers square three square kilometers or sorry 2800 square kilometers of ice just floating around in the scotia sea you see this thing just swirling around in the ocean currents big subduction zone right there big swirly pool massive iceberg thanks for watching today hope you enjoyed the show stay aware prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do